Hello everybody, so today I am wiring in my gauge cluster that I built for this Chevy S10 for my buddy, so stay tuned for that and I'll show you guys a little bit of that as I go. So, Alright, so here's the original plug for the, um, the old gauge cluster, the original one. So I went through and I just pried up the edge of each one of these that I need, like these two, right, this one, turn signal left, turn signal right keyed hot and that one is the high low beam so i had clipped all these off here they all are here i gotta get my solder stuff out here in a minute and solder these up and tape them all into the harness but i am going to be wiring in okay so i've got some of these plugs like this right here these are a ford plug and i've saved them from a project i was doing I'm going to wire two of these plugs in to take care of all my wiring needs that are inside that dash. So when it has to be removed, I can just take these and pop these apart right at this joint where they're together. They're a good sealed connection. So I'll be able to, here, just a sec, I'll pop one of these apart real quick. See, these got a good little connection on them. Got nice little seals in them. These will be perfect for what I'm doing. So I'll wire them in and hook my new dash assembly up to them so all right so today it's a new day it's raining out there's nothing else to do i pulled my wires out of this harness that i needed and now i can go ahead and test them on this end and hook these up to my gauge cluster so everything will be pluggable and unpluggable to get to and then i'll go through this harness and Get rid of everything I don't need, clear out to the firewall, and just get rid of it. So stay tuned for that, and I won't bore you guys with that, but we'll touch on it here again in a little bit. Alright, so I'm not showing you guys all of my connections, but like this right here. See, these are all soldered. Get better to zoom in. They're all soldered good. They'll never come apart. So they'll all be soldered like they should be and not just butted up with a butt connector because i don't like butt connectors because they get moisture in them and they get corrosion and they fail so this is what we're after right here then once we get to that point we'll slide these up over the top of them and then heat those up with my lighter because i don't know where my little torch is right now here kind of hard to video and do this all at once but there you guys go that's how they turn out just like that so i'll get this all wired up and we'll plug it in see how it works so all the blue wires and the white wires the only ones that are still out i've got this kind of tidied up over here into the corner where it's right by the other two plugs that it goes to I got to clean it up a little bit more when I get done. Once I get everything out of the dash, all cleaned up out of it. But down here, here is my two plugs. They're all taped in nice. I got two extra wires that I might use for something later. So I just got those kind of hanging out there for a minute. Until I get done, I'll tape them up into the harness so their tails sticking out so I know where they are. But these are my two plugs I wired in. And they come right here. They're the same. I was going to flip them around, but I wanted to have different colors because they're the same colors on one end. So the one with the black tape matches the one over on my dash with black tape. And the one without doesn't have it on it. So as you can see right here, I'll show you guys. So you want black tape. One has no black tape. One with no black tape goes to the no black tape. One with black tape goes to the black tape down there. So let me get this set up and I'll plug this stuff in and we'll see how it's going to work. I just wrote down all the wire codes and they got the well it's written on the back of that there you can see it all there let's see if i can get this zoom in there you go so you can see what they all go to there's a couple things in here like that brown and green wire right there i'm not gonna wire those in yet because those are for a buzzer so if you go over the speed limit that you set then it buzzes at you and beeps at you i don't want that because it'll probably go over the speed limit here and there so we don't want that at all so just one second and i'll plug this these in real quick and we'll go ahead and give this a try and see if everything comes on they're not going to read yet but the backlighting and everything should work 
the only way they're going to work is after I get, I got to put a hole through the firewall and then I've got some grommets I'm going to put in there and then I'll build a little harness to run to all the sensors under the hood. And we'll just kind of, we'll try this out though and see how they light up real quick. So stay tuned for that. All right. So we're just going to set this back up in here where it kind of goes. We'll drag these two plugs up here. The one with the black on it goes to the black. The one without black goes to the other one. So just purple to purple. Let's just sit this. And get it. Maybe right back in there where it's supposed to sit up. Maybe not. Let's see. And these will be able to sit down in there. Just take Work it all into place once I get done, I guess. But for now, that'll work for what we're trying to do. Let me get this freaking light. So there's the backlighting. It's searching for GPS here on that. And this is all hooked up just like it would be if it was stock. So you can come here, turn the lights up and down. But my battery's pretty dead anyway, so. Maybe I'll charge it up for a minute and get back to you guys, so hang on for that. Alright, so I just went and changed out my battery. The one that's less dead, how do you think of that? You can turn these up and down right here, or off, I think they're LEDs, so... Turn that off. See, it's telling me my voltage is low right now because I'm not tied in with the sensor, my fuel gauge sensor's not in. My oil pressure says it's low because it's not running. The temperature says it's low, but that's because I don't have it hooked up either. But I gotta wire all these in individually. This has a GPS antenna that goes to it. So I'm wondering if I get that and plug it in, if it'll actually see the GPS. Probably not in my shop, but once I get it outside, it should read. But I kind of like that. It'll look really good once I get it all pushed into the dash and everything hooked up to it. It's going to be awesome. So, I don't know. You guys just stay tuned and we'll just keep doing some more of this stuff and picking at this truck a little at a time and get it done. But, I'm really, I'm digging it. That thing shut up. Perhaps the lights are still on. Yep. Well, as annoying as that dang buzzer is, I was just going to show you guys. So, these... They're pretty awesome gauges because, like, in this gauge, let's see, well, as long as my key's on, there's my left turn signal flashing for me. So I got that indicator. As far as that goes, there's my right indicator. Can you see all those? Yeah. So those work and flash like they're supposed to. So I just basically got to cut that hole, drill a hole through my firewall and put in that piece of the rubber piece that goes in there, the grommet. And we can finish wiring that up and then I can move on underneath the truck and finish up under there. Because basically the inside of this truck's done other than getting the dash screwed in and getting all that stuff done and cleaning up my mess. But other than that, the inside's pretty much complete. So I just want to get those all mounted up and everything turned on how it's supposed to be. And we'll just kind of go from there and build this out as we go. So stay tuned for that.